Hello there, I'm Sean Grizzly and welcome to another edition of our SQL tutorials. In this tutorial I'll be discussing the wonders of the self-join uh, syntax in the SQL environment. Now we've discussed equi-joins and non-equi-joins already and now moving on to the last and final join within our tutorials called the self-join. Now what a self-join do does, it doesn't involve two or more tables, it only involves one table which specifies a relationship. Now the table we have up here features, uh, well it's called a branch table and it holds information about our branches within our uh, personal employee system. So uh, think of these as banks for example. So if we have a branch called Broomhill, the manager of this branch is Alan, his telephone number is such and such, and the parent branch is Dor, Dor's parent branch is Sheffield, Sheffield's parent branch the isn't one, so we could think of Sheffield as the headquarters. Now, uh, if we have a table like this, uh, we can perform a self-join in which we compare this column here with this column here to identify who to contact in an emergency. So, for example, if Broomhill had an emergency, we could say Broomhill reports to, as you can see, the parent branch is door, Door, the manager, is Jones, so Re Broomhill reports to Jones. Tinsley reports to Sheffield, so Tinsley branch reports to Martin. Let's see how we can get this information up uh, to display. So, this may not make much sense, so I'm going to write the first two clauses back to the from in one long statement. Okay then. Now what we're doing here, treat this as three separate columns in, when in fact it's actually just one because we can add an alias on here saying whatever you like uh, really, saying a uh, report, something like that. It's one long alias but treat it as three separate ones. So um, uh, sub dot branch name main dot parent branch and another alias here. Now what these two do, uh, it concatenates which joins together uh, this string here to these two fields. So when we display our information to the user um, it'll say sub dot branch name broom hill reports to as a string it doesn't return any value it's custom you can put anything in here you want uh, reports to parent branch, so it will say Broomhill reports to door, and it will carry on with Tinsley, door, Shafiq for example. And this line here is where we're getting our data from. Now with a self join, you can't say where branch dot branch name equals branch dot parent branch, it doesn't work. We have to make an alias of branch. Uh, twice using two different aliases. Now treat these as an instance of this table. This is the branch table, it's also the main table because it's an alias of branch, it is branch, and it's also sub as well. So sub, branch, and main are all this table. So it's a copy in each one. Then to make the self join, we say where main dot branch name equals sub dot parent branch. Now what this does, this actually makes the join, like in our non and equi join tutorials, we're saying where main dot branch name broomhill equals the parent branch. So it'll look for uh, broomhill's parent branch, it'll say door door jones, broomhill ports to jones. So if we execute this here, as you can see it goes Broomhill reports to Sheffield, Door reports to nothing, Tinsley reports to nothing. This is because, uh, as you can see, there's our alias here. Uh, as you can see, main.parent branch is not 
it doesn't always have data in. Remember, Sheffield doesn't have a parent branch because it's headquarters. So if we replace this with manager, for example, it says Broomhill reports to Jones because Jones is the manager of Door. Broomhill reports to Door. Door reports to Martin because Martin is the manager of Sheffield. Tinsley reports to Martin because Martin is the manager of Sheffield. So, uh, for example, um, you can use this in any instances where you have a relationship within one table, uh, but um, it's not two separate tables, it's one table, it has a relationship, therefore you can use a self-join to manipulate this data in some way. So this is how to uh, perform self-joins within the SQL environment. Key things to remember. Uh, the table you're using it appears once there should be no other tables within the self join you make two different instances called different names you may wish to have a string here you can alias it and treat sub and main as two different things and when you're making your join as well so I hope you find this interesting I'm Sean Weasley thank you for listening to our tutorial on self joins uh, I hope you liked it and good night